Hey, how's everybody doing? So a quick little video here. I just went to Dirt Cheat yesterday. Had a little up extra bucks in my pocket, picked up some stuff. Now this actually did not come from Walmart. This is a deadhead. And check this out. Let me get this thing open. And get a view of it. And that little net shit. Let me just break that net. Get this thing open. Looks pretty badass. Oh. What the hell? That's why I was so cheap. Okay, this was only a buck. It's because that mesh got stuck with some gum. But look, it's a fucking mad ball. It was like 50 cents instead of a uh, couple of bucks. So. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, love mad balls. I don't want to go in the collection. That ain't the big thing about it. <clears throat> you know me, I'm always going to went dirt cheap. So I'm looking around. What do I find? Charlie's Angels. This is Kelly Garrett. Hello, Charlie. This is 6725 of 10,000. Look on the back here. The Angels all drove different Ford cars. Which one did Kelly drive? A Ford Mustang. Made Kelly, Sabrina, and Chris. So let's get this son of a bitch open. So we got in here. Oh, got a gun and everything. Wow. Or Body was backwards. I'm gonna put the accessories in our hands here so we can have her ready. This is Miss Kelly Garrett from Charlie's Angels. Check it out. I mean, I don't remember which one was Kelly. Got a gun, got a little pocketbook, necklace, some heels, some bell bottoms. Pretty cool little figure. The one we also found. Yep. Chachi from Happy Days. I got Chachi and Richie. I don't have a Fonzie yet, so let's open this some bitch up. Oh, what's this today? It's wah wah wah. The question back. What did Joni and Chachi do on their first date? And the answer is babysat. And this is number five thousand nine hundred and seventy at ten thousand. So, all mine I'm finding them fairly low numbers. Okay, he's only got one accessory like Richie did. Now my thing about it is, okay, about it, this is just supposed to be set back in the 50s, but when you look at Chachi here, look at that hair, and that does look like Scott Baio. Look at that hair. Look at that outfit. That is 70s as hell with that man Dan around his way. That was a little milkshake right here. You go hang out with Kelly up there, Chachi. So two more Migos to the collection. And then the big one. The big fun. Where's that trash bag at? The big fine, baby. The big fine. Yeah. The big fine is horrified the stakes have been raised. One to five players, age 10 up. Universal Studio Monsters. This is a Universal Studio Monsters theme board game. Look at this. This looks badass. Got all kinds of figures and all kinds of shit. Now, it had been open, but it looked like it was complete. I'm going to bust this son bitch open real quick and make sure. Prospero Hall. Okay, that's um, someone that did the Choose Your Adventure ones. I got a Learn How to Watch video. Uh, instructions. Nice big instruction book. We feel it would be a little unkind to present this game without just a word or friendly warning. You're about to unfold one of the strangest tales ever told. We think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It may, might even horrify you. So if any of you feel you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now it's your chance to, well, we warned you. Okay, that's the board. Oh, yeah, this hadn't even been put together yet. Cool. Let me get the board open up here. Get a look at it. I love me some board games. And there it is. Looks pretty cool. I mean, the rest of I gotta put all this shit together. I'm sure. Yeah, I gotta punch all this shit out. Ooh, a lot of stuff. Nice little bag to put stuff in. Here's the. This one I'm wondering. It's the monsters. Let's we'll see what the monsters look like, y'all. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. All right. So we got a wolf man. Frankenstein's monster, the Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula, 
creature from the Black Lagoon. The mummy. Ooh, spooky, spooky. And then... Oh, nice! The Invisible Man! And all kinds of extras. I'm not going to open everything up. But, yeah, this looks really fucking cool. And it wasn't... It says 30 something bucks on the cover. I think I paid about 10 for it. But yeah, you know, I, I love board games. I love horror, so it's a good one. So, hey, not bad. I mean, the Mad Ball kind of sucks. The two Migos were cool, and this board game looks badass. I like the little bag it gives you to put all your shit in. Yeah, kick ass. Like I said, I know it's a short one, y'all. And it's Thursday. I usually don't get a video on. Is it? Yeah, it's Thursday. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.